All right, I, I want to show, let me show you this trailer for uh, Kevin's most recent film. Watch. So this is Texas. Very flat. I just believe the hand of Providence has been guiding our every step. We're going to hit oil right here on your plate. Doc Boyd and Daddy. While they weren't much good at actually finding or drilling for oil, they both possessed an unusual facility for convincing people that they could do just that. Oil! I've never felt it so strong in all my life! Widows were the mother's milk of the petroleum hustle. Love is not time's fool. And now that they had a well, it was time to hit every widow they could find in a three-county radius. This well, we can't bring it in. We've already sold close to 500%. Yeah, so? You can only have 100% of anything. I just wanted to be square with you because I care for you, ma'am. Give you back the $1,000 I took. Bet you swindled from other widows. I don't want you here. I want you out of my house. We got to take what we got and get as far away from Texas as we can get. You want me to walk away from it? We're crooks. We've conned all those old ladies. Yeah, we conned those old ladies because that's what we do. I'm an oil man. Praise Jesus in all his glory. Lotharios. He's talking about you. True hand to God miracle is what it is. That's the gospel truth. Leave the rest up to Jesus! God's own bounty. Oil. Black gold. Amen. 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 All right, Kevin. Uh, it says based on a true story. Tell us the true story. It's a true story. These two con men, played by myself and John Ratzenberger, went through Oklahoma and Texas, right in the heart of the Depression in 1930, and they would con women out of their money on the fake oil wells. They would sell 500% of the shares, so I think that's five times more than you can actually have, declare a dry hole, and then move on. They get to Kilgore, Texas, a miracle happens. They strike oil, largest oil find in the history of the world. Of course, they get arrested, and during the court proceedings, all the widows through Oklahoma and Texas show up for this court trial, and there's some more miracles that happen afterwards. But what these guys did, true story, they would use uh, Bible verses to woo the widows. And um, there's some things that happen in both these characters as these things keep going on and on. But it's the largest oil found in the history of the world. And my wife, Sam, who's in the movie, uh, Lou Gossett Jr. is in as well. She did a little more digging. She found out that these that oil, a decade later during World War II, was the oil that helped keep our allies and the American forces filled up with gas during uh, with all our tanks and all their trucks while the Germans were being surrounded by all the allies and running out of that thing. And Winston Churchill said it was the uh, oil from East Texas that helped win the war. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right. So, Kevin, let's. Uh, all right. So first off, before I go off topic, I want to make sure, sure when's it coming up? How do we go see it? And is there some place we can go see what to do? Go ahead. It's, uh, go to sorbostudios.com, sorbostudios.com. You sign up there, you put your zip code in, it shows you what uh, theater's near you. We got 800 theaters. It's on. Uh, it's gonna be on October 29th and 30th. And here's the deal with independent movies. We got Fathom behind us. Okay, Fathom was very helpful for independent movies like mine that at least get out in theaters. If we can fill up those seats, we need to fill up those seats, we will get more time. We got a culture war in hand, as you know. You see the woke world, you see the stuff that is coming on our television sets and our movie theaters, and uh, independent movies like myself, what the Irwin brothers do, uh, we try to put movies out there that have hope and love and faith and redemption, things that Hollywood used to do. So we need your help. We need this to become another God's Not Dead. Remember God's Not Dead? $2 million movie made $140 million, all off word of mouth. So we need people's help to make these movies out there because these $300 million Hollywood movies with a $100 million advertising budget, how do we, with $3 million movies budgets, that's catering budget on those things, how do we compete with them without strong word of mouth? And I get stopped all the time by people saying, we love the movies, Zoom, please make more. Well, we can only make more if you guys keep supporting them. So I hope people, I pray to God that people will fill the theaters this coming weekend. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So Flashpoint Army, you know what to do. Now, Kevin, this is what we did for uh, uh, our good friends, Jim Caviezel with uh, Sound of Freedom. They were in the same exact spot you were in uh, and the Flashpoint Army got behind it. So you know what to do, guys. Go to SorboStudios.com. Go to the film. Go see the movie. Take everybody you can. 
I, I still think it's great to go rent a go rent a screen out. Go rent it. Take it. Take yeah. it. Take your. No, just don't just take your church. Take your neighborhood. Listen, I don't know anybody that has kids now or even grandkids, <clears throat> like some of us do, that you don't want to be able to take your kids or to go do something. I mean, now you're like concerned. If I go to the movies, what am I going to see? Uh, what do I, do I dare take my child or grandchild to this film? This is one you can take them to. So we need to support. Kevin's absolutely right. And I know you know that because you did this with Sound of Freedom. This is what we need to do uh, with this film. It's this weekend. So Miracle in East Texas, uh, October 29th and 30th, Sorbo Studios. Go do it. Uh, we need a great showing. Flashpoint Army, we've got to. We must support films. Kevin, you were going to say something. Go ahead. It's a PG rated movie. We got the movie guide stamp approval. We got the dub stamp of approval. You can take your seven year olds to this. This is a wonderful movie that everybody can uh, join in together. And if you don't mind me throwing in there, I've got a book, new book that came out through Brave Books. And if you know what Brave Books does, Brave Books does amazing stuff. You go to bravebooks.us uh, there, bravebooks.com works as well. If you guys remember last year when uh, Kirk Cameron came out with his book, he got attacked. He got kicked out of public libraries, libraries that we fund with our taxpayer money because they didn't want him to read his book to seven, eight year olds, but they were okay with drag queens reading to seven, eight year olds. So go figure that one out. It's unbelievable what's going on. My book, I'm getting attacked by the Elfbit crowd because it's about uh, letting boys be boys and grow up to be strong men, strong Christian men and strong family men. It's a little story about a little lion cub who saves his little sister's life out in the woods. It's all it's about. There's not, it's not anti anything, but it's pro child. I'll tell you that much right now, because it's crazy what our public schools are doing, what our media is doing, what our government's doing to our children today. Let children be children. Let them grow up to be adults and make their own decisions in a, in a more adult fashion. Uh, good. Bravebooks.us. But uh, let's go back to the film because uh, let me bring in our, our other panel. Eric, this is, uh, you know, our friend Lance. And, and I'm, uh, you know, he's always talking about um, Lance is always talking about Seven Mountains and how we got to. This is part of us taking it. I think the part that really we often miss is that we go, oh, that's great. Kevin's over there doing movies. He's part of that seven mount. We have a responsibility to get behind it, to get behind the the books, the, the, the support. We need to support the books. We just can't go, oh, that's great for him. He's doing that. He's going to no. win the lost and they're going to come see the movie. You know, we've uh, got to support I, that as I, well. I talk about this wherever I go. I talk about it on my radio program, on my TV program. This is a big thing for me. First of all, no American should ever, ever spend another dime on a Disney product or a Disney film. If you do that, you're part of the problem. You need to take your money and use it for things like this. And when a film like this comes out, you need to support it. Not you kind of should. You need to right. support it. Dinesh D'Souza has a film out called Police State. You need to support it. When films like this come out... People who say they love America, say they care, they need to reach into their pocket and buy a ticket. If you can afford it, buy tickets for your friends. This is an, a glorious thing that these films are being made. So God bless you, Kevin, my friend, for making this film. And the film sounds like a cross between two of my favorite movies, the producers, Mel Brooks and uh, Paper Moon. Tatum O'Neill, Ryan O'Neill, like just two great films. I wouldn't bring my kids to those films, but I'm just telling you, the plot is, is it just sounds like an amazing plot. But people, I, I say this to my fellow believers, you have got to understand, you have a duty to support right. these things. Do not complain about what Hollywood is doing if you are not stepping up and supporting these things, supporting the books uh, that people uh like uh, Kevin and I write, you've got to support these things and you've got to stop supporting what the world is giving us, which is destructive. Yeah, and speaking of what the world is giving destructive, uh, we're gonna dive into this more in another program, but let me show you what's happening with Disney. Uh, they've got a movie coming out. Um, this is the series uh, that's uh, Living for the Dead and uh, it's uh, they're going around the country it's a, a group of LGBT going around raising, raising the dead. Uh, it, <laughs> I mean, this is, it, this, it's just to say it's bizarre, John, it doesn't come close. Now the other one's Pauline who, who gets pregnant 
from uh, from Satan himself. She's a teen mom. Yeah. Uh, show that picture, guys, if you got it. You know, this is uh, what this is. Not that one. The other, the other one. There you go. This is what th they're putting. This is Disney. This is what they're putting yeah. out there, John. This is what we're dealing with. Yeah, it is. And, and and to me, what you just showed and what Kevin just talked about is just like that picture where half of Congress is sitting down and half is standing up. You know, if you're if your father is Beelzebub, you're you're part of that problem. And so it's exposing that stuff. Stay focused on the positive. I'm going to go Sunday if, if I can all take all my kids that, I, that are here locally to do this. My wife and I actually met right by where this whole story happened in Kilgore. Him Henderson area. Uh, she was a Kilgore Rangerette. That's where the oil museum is. It's it's going to be fun to watch a clean movie that's good. And I'll be happy and delighted. And I encourage, just like you did, Gene, the whole Flashpoint Army, just go spend, may, look at it as a donation. Go there and do it. And it's going to be a great movie. I can't wait to watch it. But you you see these two things and then you start going, okay, this is a pretty sharp, sharp contrast here. Let's stay focused on that, which is good. And so I, I appreciate, Kevin, what you and Sam and all the people that are helping you are doing. Keep it up.